All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles, to the editors of Great Millstone. Much peace and much love to all the brothers that's doing this work and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Okay, this is the word diligent. It says constant and earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. You know, so attention, care, hate, speed, attentiveness, carefulness. Um, to speak out, to put out, to pick out, select. So we gotta be um dili We gotta be diligent in this work. We gotta be constant. It says a sense involved through time from love, through attentiveness to carefulness to steady effort. So we gotta have a steady effort when it comes to doing the work of the Lord and remembering who your first love is. This is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11. It says, And we desire that every one of you do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. So we got to all show the same diligence, the same, the same um, carefulness, you know, um, the full assurance. Let's see what that word assurance is. Oh, basically a promise. It says a uh, formal or solemn pledge, promise, sincerely, full, full confidence, assurance. So we have a a promise of. It says verse eleven again. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the fear, full assurance, to confidence, of hope. Until the end, because this how I said it best, man. The, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. Verse 12 says, That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. And that's what we're waiting for. You know, the scripture says, Consider the end. This is uh, Proverbs 6 and 6. It says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Because um, an ant is very diligent when it comes down to, you know, when it's time to eat or provide, you know, them. And you drop a crumb or you drop a potato chip on the ground. Them ants will be on that thing about, I give them five minutes max. They'll be on top of that chicken, that, 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 uh, whatever you drop on the floor, they'll be on, on the ground outside. They'll be on top of them in about five minutes, man. You know, that's how diligent an ant is, man. They, they be on it, man. The Lord, you know, uh, referenced them as an example for a good reason, man, because an ant, an ant is a very diligent animal and they seem like they don't get tired, man. Every time, you know, wherever you might drop, you might drop a, um, a potato chip or a chip piece of chicken on the ground, right, probably about five to ten minutes, it's going to be ants all over it, man. You know? That's why the Lord said in Proverbs 6 and 6, consider the ant thou sluggard. Consider her ways. How she do? She's constantly working. The ants is constantly working. Constantly getting that food. What, who they taking it to? They taking it to the queen, man. Or their families or whatever. We have Whatever you have it. Okay, going on, this is, continuing on, this is verse 13. For when the Most High made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely bless I will be, I will surely, blessings, I will bless thee, and multiply, I will multiply thee. And so after he had plenty, patiently endured, he obtained the promise. So we got to patiently endure we got to follow that example, which that word patience goes back to suffering. You know, it's a lot of people in America, they don't have no patience. They're not willing to suffer. You know, they want their food rattling and just like in fast food because I've worked fast food. You know, they're not patient. They want it fast, quick. You know, they don't want to patiently, they want to suffer any hunger anymore. They don't want to suffer being so hungry. Oh, I'm so I'm hungry. They don't want to have no patience, man. That's what's wrong, Americans. They don't have no damn patience. They don't want to suffer. But the Lord is going to make a lot of people out here suffer in these last days. And they're going to feel that anguish before they die, man. Like the scripture says, he hath obtained the promise. So we, if we continue 
and be impatient, we gonna obtain the promise. Verse sixteen: For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them is to them at an end of all strife, wherein the Most High willingly willing more abundantly to shew unto the hearers of the promise the immutality the immutality of his counsel confirmed in by an oath immutility immutility if I'm saying that right so like if I'm not verse 18 it says that by two immutable immutable things in which it was impossible for the most high to lie we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us so we fleeing we have a strong consolation now you know because we believe through the scriptures and what the scripture says that the lord said he cannot lie you know he is not a man that he shall lie Let's see what that word is. Immutability. Immutability. Okay, um, it says unchangeableness. Unchangeable. Okay, that's plain. Okay, let's see. So now let's read it again. Verse 18. Actually, verse 17 says, Wherein God willing more abundantly to shoot us the hairs of the promise the immutable the immutability of his counsel so his unchangeable the scripture says his counsel is unmutable it's unchangeable of his counsel confirmed it by an oath so the lord confirmed it he put a stamp on it he ain't gonna change it because it's immutable it's not changeable that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for the Most High to lie. We might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay on, lay hold upon the hope set before us. And we have that hope and we have to hold on to it with our last breath, man. To, even to our last breath, breath. I'm pretty sure immutable means the same thing as immutability. But, you know, I'm still going to look it up. Okay, immutable. It says unchanging, unalternable. Unalternable. Yeah, basically the same thing. Unchangeable, unalterable. Yeah. Unchangeable. So So the will's Lord the will the will of the Lord is not gonna change. His works is not gonna change. He loves Israel. He made that promise with Israel. He's not gonna change it. That's plain and simple right there, man. Cause that's do we believe that we have a strong constellation. Now let's see what constellation means. Get a better understanding. I have a you know Let's see consolation this is that which consoles uh, let's see act of consoling hmm. distress of mind uh, comfort delight pleasure comfort mm, encourage comfort cheer to comfort so we have a strong comfort through these scriptures isn't not the scriptures the comforter you know the holy spirit through the spirit uh the comforter which is comes in the volume of this book okay um verse 19 says which hope we have an ank as an anchor of the soul both sure and steadfast and which entereth into that within the veil so we have an anchor that's like an anchor to our hope man that's it's unmovable it's unchangeable anchor to our soul it's unmovable whether the forerunner is for us entered even Yahweh Shah made a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, which the uh, Melchizedek was Yahweh Shai. And one of the many things that he did, he came down because if you read up on Melchizedek, he didn't have a mother or a beginning or I believe he said he didn't have a mother or father. He just came straight from the heavens because it was, it was Yahweh Shai. You know, he was setting things in order for, you know, in order things to be fulfilled. And 
and you to go out for you know things to go in the right direction concerning the will of the Lord. So he came down and made that that uh promise about the high priest. So what we have learned from this little thing, this little block of this Hebrews the sixth chapter is that the Lord's will will stand and it's immutable, which means unchangeable, and we have that hope, and where that hope is very strong through you know the comfort of the Holy Scriptures, man. Because these scriptures they comfort us. You know? The book of the the spirit of truth comfort us, man. Which comes in the volume of this book, man. You know? Yahweh I said, Lo, I come in the volume of a book. It is written of me. So we have hope, and we can't fall from that hope. Because that it says verse 19, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul. So if you have an anchor, if this hope is the anchor of your soul, it's not gonna let it move, man. You can't move a boat when it's anchored, man, and it's deep, deep, deep in the um the ground, man. You can't move that boat. You'll have to bring the anchor up. And that anchor uh, it, the anchor is this faith, man. You know, this 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 work, this hope. And if you let that anchor come up, man, you done. So the the Most High is not a liar. He gon he gonna fulfill his promise. We just gotta we gotta push diligently push towards it, man. You know, constantly push towards it, and we will make it to the end. Matthew 10 and 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end that shall be saved. So, endure to the end. It sounds easier said than done, which it is, man. It's easier said than done. We just got to keep on fighting and keep on pushing. You know, got to be spiritual cockroaches in this devil's side, man. And their hardness as a good soldier. We got to be soldiers. We got to keep fighting. You may fall, you get back up, you keep fighting, man. And so with that, man, we got to show diligence. Going back to diligence, we got to be, you know, constant. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So we got to always keep pushing. No matter what, keep pushing. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm going to give all, I'm going to say Ka Yahweh, Bashim, Shah, Bashim, Rakakodash. That one's to the apostles, to the elders of Great Millstone. Much peace and love to our brothers and sisters. Work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. A few words on diligence.